a new update was just announced for rise of kingdom so today we're going to go over this together and i'm going to give you guys my thoughts but first i want to go over the aftermath of the recent change that was made to barbarian forts and the ap that's received when defeating them because i was hoping that it would be at least addressed somewhere in this update but unfortunately all of the feedback that the players have given the developers regarding this change apparently was just thrown in the garbage so i just want to talk about sort of what's happened since that update has come out the first thing is that as a player i've gotten messages like this one where this player is saying hey i'm quitting the game can't have one bad update after another good luck to you and i will continue to support your channel thanks for all the videos you've made then they sent me their coordinates and said that they basically used all of their gems and gold heads and just got rid of their troops and spent down all of their equipment materials because they have officially quit then there's messages like this that my leadership has gotten saying hey sorry to disturb you i have bad news for you i'm quitting rok i'm so sorry for all this but this game is no fun for me anymore and all these updates made me take this decision good luck in the future and have fun my leadership said can you delete all your troops then you brought a lot of power into my kingdom just to quit and they said i've already deleted the game okay i'll have them zero it instead please feel free to rally it thanks all the best and that was this player right here which you can see has 58 million power their highest power ever was 140 million with 34 million dead troops 3.7 billion kill points so a very active player a player who uh, spent money in the game people might say that they were a little bit of a of a whale okay and then there's this this is a poll that i posted over on my youtube channel four days ago with 2,400 votes. And this was, uh, I think, like a day after the update came out. And I said, given the current direction of Rise of Kingdoms, how much longer do you think you'll play the game? 41% of people said that they didn't plan on quitting, which means that 59% of people either feel like they will probably quit within the next six months or 25% of them have already quit. And look, I, I have my degree in marketing. Okay. So I know that this question itself is, is a pretty, it's a leading question. Okay. This is self reported data. And I I'm not trying to convince you that this is some sort of perfect science experiment. Obviously this data is going to be skewed towards the negative because of the time of the question, the wording of the question, but you also have to remember that these people, right? These 2,400 people who answered, which mind you is not that many people, but this does represent some of the most active and engaged people in rise of kingdoms. Most people who play rise of kingdoms do not watch YouTube videos. They do not watch live streams. They do not engage with people who make content for this game. I know that if you're watching this, this may sound crazy to you, but most rise of kingdoms players do not know who I am or Chisco gaming or anything like that. They don't know that there's content on YouTube, uh, hundreds and thousands of videos about this game on YouTube, right? They just casually play. They log in every other day or every third day and they kill barbarians with their Pelagius and by bars, right? Like that's, that's the average rise of kingdoms player. Okay. So these, the, while this is a small number and the data may be skewed, these are the most active people and most engaged with the game because they're watching content on YouTube. And not only are they watching content, they're not watching the, the biggest rise of kingdoms channel or the official rise of kingdoms channel. They're watching my channel, a smaller, more niche channel about rise of kingdoms. So this data, while it is probably skewed in the negative, just based on the timing and the wording of it, uh, it still represents valuable data in that the players are not happy with the game. The, the core audience and the most active and engaged audience is not happy with the current direction of rise of kingdoms and it especially comes at a time right after the recent change to the barb forts and the only response we've gotten from lilith was this message on the official discord from asia i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly i apologize if i'm not but this entire message was extremely disingenuine incredibly misleading mostly just a lie also a knee-jerk reaction during the middle of people giving them negative feedback on discord they didn't wait a day to see and go through the feedback and see how the community actually felt no during people giving feedback and being upset on discord they released this knee-jerk copy paste bs for uh, probably from a, a pr team or something like that and then they just ignored the feedback i mean that that's that's what they did and that's why i was hoping that in this latest update we would get some sort of uh you know sign that they're at least listening but like this this response was just straight up a joke i mean nearly unlimited action points 
that's just that's just not true D did we have alliances pulling down 5 million ap a week no what about 1 million oh no F 500 000. oh no okay so what do you mean nearly unlimited it's limited in many ways it's limited by the number of active players it's limited by the amount of time it takes to rally a barbarian fort like if you don't know how to do math you read this and you think that some alliances had infinite ap like that's not the case whatsoever also inventing new ways to play and have fun this method of getting ap from barb forts has been around for like two years this is not new are you saying that this was such a massive problem you had to nerf it but yet you let it happen for two years Years? and then they quoted pre kvk as if it wasn't their idea to have us rally forts in pre kvk pre kvk tells you to rally forts so you're saying that it was a problem that we were rallying too many forts when the goal was to rally as many forts as we could and probably one of the most misleading parts of this statement is this section down here that says they confirmed a vast majority of governors received less than 7500 action points per week from destroying barbarian fortresses the problem with this statement is that they use the word governors okay the word governor just refers to an account in the game okay I am 46 governors you understand that you can create governors out of thin air people download the game and they play it for 30 minutes and then they delete the app that's a governor that's one governor okay that's one person who played the game at one point the reality is most governors don't play the game that that's the I mean 44 of the 46 characters that I've created haven't played the game this month okay so this misleading statement makes it sound like nobody's really affected by this change which is obviously not true otherwise we wouldn't have so many people quitting the game or considering quitting the game or just being generally unhappy with the direction of the game and then they have the audacity to say we'd like to thank you for the feedback no no you you are not happy with our feedback clearly because this message was posted while people were, were still giving you the feedback and the feedback was also never addressed in game and this would have been at least one instance where they could have addressed it and they didn't so let's see what the next update to rise of kingdoms is going to be now that they've removed an effective way for players to gain value during the off season of kvk okay because i'm not going to get into again why this update was so detrimental the math is crystal clear for anybody who is active playing this game in an active alliance you now have less value you can get from your action points okay again math is crystal clear there if you don't understand that you can figure it out on your own I'm not here to convince you but the change to barb forts and let me just say this again I don't like doing barb forts people don't like grinding barb forts we don't like to do it the the problem of the barb fort change was the, the fundamental philosophy behind the change okay that was the problem it shows that the developers don't understand what active players are doing or what they like to do or why they're doing them okay that's the biggest problem with the barb fort change it's not that people liked doing barb forts and now they can no it's that they they are not paying attention to what players are doing and why the only way they could really justify capping ap gain from barb forts uh, is if they subsequently went and gave us more rewards for everyday events that we do throughout the day because what else are we going to do in between kvk so let's see if that's addressed here shall we okay uh, update 1.0.61 anniversary festival oh wow market of nations event series rise of kingdoms will soon be celebrating its anniversary festival to honor past achievements crowning glories and moments of celebration to which all governors are invited rise of kingdoms is celebrating their past because that's when the game used to be good we're not looking forward here okay we're looking back the market of nations will thus open at the appointed hour with a host of exciting activities oh my goodness exciting activities gosh I sure hope they're not copy and pasted activities that we've already done 700 times since the game came out anniversary festival shop win anniversary coins from events and exchange them for amazing gifts nice dude we've never seen that before alliance quiz no way okay sick sign in spoils wait a minute you get rewards for signing in including an exclusive festive reward oh my goodness your rise of kingdoms yearbook wow we're gonna see statistics for when we used to get to play the game whenever we wanted and now we're capped that's sick circus of wonders behold the incredible circus of yeah it really is a circus let me just tell you that a circus is on brand Lilith good job for that one actually maybe you are paying attention win prizes from the amazing parrot brothers Goldane and Fogsworth 
only available to kingdoms over 21 days old desert tracks discover the treasures the camels have brought from distant lands only available to kingdoms over 21 days old okay great festive delights collect recipes to run an outstanding stall in the market of nations we've seen I'm, I'm guessing this is the same event that we see for Thanksgiving by the way treasure hunt use parchment maps to guide your scouts to hidden treasure across the map we've seen that a million times arms training we've seen that a million times thief catcher we've seen that a million times Zenith of power we've seen that a million times strange incidents guys seven days of questing for great rewards see the event calendar for detailed schedules okay so let's take a look here we have 13 bullet points of the same sort of things we've seen before which honestly it's free value okay so this is this is free value for the what seven days five days that we're gonna have this event okay cool so that's that's standard stuff this is this is not in response to anything that they've updated recently this was gonna come anyway uh let's move on event anniversary grand prix rise up for glory okay so we actually already knew about this the grand prix is already here in announced in the game and it's announced on social media so the grand prix being discussed in this mail is pointless season of conquest story heroic anthem treasury of heroes okay so we're getting a new heroic anthem kvk that's interesting pioneer launch event kingdoms currently in season of conquest have the chance to be the first to play the all new heroic anthem treasury of hero story as a pioneer event new alliance gameplay governors can join alliances belonging to any kingdom in their camp and fight alongside them at any time okay that's quite interesting we've never seen that before new alliance based crusader achievements complete their requirements to gain amazing rewards okay new three-day immigration period during the immigration period governors can apply to immigrate to any kingdom in the same lost kingdom as them upon approval you can immigrate to the new kingdom at a cost of fewer passport pages compared to regular immigration and that's and that's all that we know we this does not tell you anything about this new kvk so clearly this is in some sort of early development i don't know usually when they announce a new kvk they tell us some of the features here this just says that it's focused around alliances and that you will be able to migrate i guess to the other kingdoms now i don't understand this at all right because we don't know anything more about this i don't also understand how this would improve the kvk experience right like i don't really we already have coalitions right so i don't really know how immigrating to another kingdom that you're already that maybe you're already allied with like how does that work again i just don't understand why would i want to leave my kingdom during kvk to go to another kingdom that i'm already in kvk with especially because it doesn't look like it's going to be throughout the duration of the kvk it's going to be just for a three-day period is this coming to all kvks or just the treasury of heroes kvk and if this is exclusive to the treasury of heroes kvk why does it still cost passport pages like if this is part of the actual event here why do we still have to pay to use the feature uh, but what i do know is that there's a big green feedback button and i already clicked this button and i think you guys probably probably already know what i rated this update but this update is nothing there's nothing here okay this top thing is all stuff that we expected and have gotten a hundred times over this was already announced a couple of weeks ago and this is that basically saying that they're working on a new kvk and there's really nothing that they told us about it we already knew they were working on a new kvk so there's nothing here all we got in the past week was a horrendous update to active players in the form of nerfing barbarian fort ap uh, and then a, a copy paste standard update that we've seen a million times. So I encourage you guys to give your genuine feedback that, uh, does not threaten anybody that does not curse. Do not be toxic, hateful, or threatening in your feedback comments or towards any of the moderators or customer support. But I think that if you're unhappy with the current state of the game and the direction of the game, you ought to give your feedback because the feedback that was given on discord fell on deaf ears um they immediately responded with a knee-jerk reaction clearly they were not listening and this uh update notes proves that they have already moving on and just basically don't care about the feed feedback that we've given them so they're giving us another option of giving them more feedback so go ahead and give them your feedback tell them what you think about this update are you excited for the market of nations event series i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below because of course my opinions don't mean anything if you guys don't let me know down there how you feel if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace